all you bad bitches think Martha ain't hard She got a Turkish Martha skirt Keep gun up in her skirt Been trapping with dessert Garn poppy from the dirt Yo, it's RazzleCon and I made this really dope orange balaclava which is inspired by joe exotic the tiger king but for real um it's super dope and i'm gonna show you exactly how i made it from the start to the finish and how you can do the same brazzling time razzle dazzle hey it's razzle con and i'm ready to brazzle this Balaclava. I got on Canal Street off the street for, I think I got two for $10 or $8, something like that. Thinking I'm gonna do like a cheetah deal with this one. Um, but this orange one, I'm definitely thinking like tiger stripes. So I'm gonna put on my glove because I have a track record of getting paint on my hand. So I looked at a bunch of tiger pictures of tiger stripes and tiger on the face. You like my skull cup? This is from my buddy Karen. Also artist, one of my razzler barazzlers. I have blood orange juice and kombucha in here. It seemed only fitting to drink blood orange juice out of a skull. What, what? <laughs> so I have these black markers. I have different ones by Tulip with different like widths. This one's Sharpie and this one is Mosaic, I guess. <laughs> I'm thinking the medium one for starters. So tigers on their heads, they usually have stripe going down like this. Meow. Interesting, we might have to use paint. Oops, this is why we wear gloves. This might be a black paint situation. So the only risk with black paint is that it might bleed through in a weird way, but I think we're gonna have to because this, this is not enough. One moment. Okay. Got black paint. Jackard textile paint. I don't know. Okay, you know, before we do this and I get it everywhere, we're gonna do another glove. I'm a messy girl. Ah. This thing is really on here. Damn. Okay. Not the easiest to open. Jeez. Ah! Okay. It's it's coming. Hey, somebody has a phone call. So, we're gonna just use this faithful paintbrush. Oh, it's all over me. Whoops. Truth is this fuck. Fuck your dick, fuck. Make your own luck. Face is your plug. Chasing that puck. Don't interrupt. Making that book. Don't be dumb as fuck. So, when you're barazzling, you gotta really think or doing any kind of art with like 3D objects about how to work with the object. And so we have a lot of texture here, which can either, you can either work with it or you can kind of try to fight it. And I vote it's better to work with it. So we're gonna use that to our advantage to add some dimension to the tiger stripes. It's now all over my hand. At least it's on the glove and not my actual hand. Hopefully it's not gonna go all the way through and I'm not gonna end up with black paint on my face. But we're gonna definitely wait until this dries to try it back on again. I feel like it's becoming like a Lucho Libre mask or like something for a superhero or super villain. <laughs> I always like the villains. They're just the superhero characters. Too many of them don't have enough depth for me. The villains have more layers. This is so cool. I can't wait to wear this. I might not end up wearing it until like next winter. Just cause it's getting pretty warm and like with coronavirus, everything I wear outside, I wash it, but maybe we'll make a music video or something. I never owned a balaclava until recently, but most of my life I've lived in really warm places. Hong Kong and Cairo and California. Didn't really have a reason because I'm not exactly going around robbing banks. I do a little bit of the other side already just so I remember where the lines are going. And I'm trying to have it be a bit symmetrical. 
so that the stripes can line up. Never get stuck. touch-ups after I've tried it on and see how it stretches really get in there a little bit I don't want to have like a bunch of gaps when it stretches over my head but yeah the second I saw these I was like I gotta get them <laughs> I almost thought about getting more but I only had so much cash on me and I thought about going back and getting more later I didn't know how the quality would be or whatever but this is okay I guess love buying things from street vendors i wouldn't necessarily want to do this right now amidst the pandemic but i do love negotiating and buying things off the street reminds me of like istanbul or cairo or even parts of asia that i've lived everything's more fun with haggling wow this is using a lot of black paint but it's worth it I really thought marker was gonna work with this one, but it was just too absorbent. I thought about doing like tiger whiskers, but it seems too silly. It kind of looks like Chewbacca. That was not my intention, but it kind of works. Ain't a fucking vegan, Apex predator. Love me eating, waiting like a gator. Don't allow no cheating, always cut a traitor. I'm on the last stroke. Okay, and now all that's left for us to do is let it dry in the back side. Razzle dazzle. Hey, it's Razzle Khan, and I am ready to finish grazzling this lovely tiger balaclava. Um, we need to do the back side now, and we're doing it again with this black synthetic fabric paint jeffered but let's put on gloves because that's important that i end up with it all under my nails pre-ratchet got my gloves on okay so i want something like wide enough but not too wide so i think for starters i'm just gonna do all the edges that way we know like the pattern will continue same or similarly you know, like a real tiger, it's not gonna be identical, but it can be consistent. Ruthless as fuck, fuck it, get fucked. Make your own luck, face as you plug. Chasing that puck, don't interrupt. Making that buck, don't be dumb as fuck. Never get stuck, or you still get shot. Pick out and tap, and drink it up. Don't give a fuck, just so to the cop duck we said. I think for some of this we can use the thicker paintbrush, but I wanted to be more controlled and cautious starting out. Been watching that show recently, uh, the Joe Exotic Tiger King thing on Netflix. I don't watch a lot of things, but Dutch was watching that guy's YouTube since, I don't know, five, eight years ago when no one watched it. He loves unusual characters. So I remember seeing it like back when we were in SF. Like that had to have been at least four or five years ago and I don't know how long he'd been watching it. But all my friends were like, have you seen Tiger King? Have you seen Tiger King? And I think it's because to them, Razzle Khan seems kind of like Tiger King. <laughs> I am a character. Definitely like some of his eccentric outfits. That's the way my great grandma used to dress actually. Definitely got the fashion of a gay man though. My great grandma dressed kind of like a fabulous drag queen. She grew up in the Bay Area of California, was the daughter of a ship captain, and all her clothes were tailor-made in San Francisco. A lot of silk. It's a little tricky with this texture, but that's part of what makes it fun. I 
don't know, it's good to like stretch it a little to make sure the paint is like really in there. I'm thinking I want the, this one to go down more. This tiger's uh, taking a lot of paint, I gotta say. Get it run by golf cart, poison you with the frog, dark shit on you like a fart. No, what the best part? What red? Fakes, always. Again, the animals aren't perfectly symmetric, usually. They're patterns, so a little bit of variety is good. But it's looking real cool. I love bright, bold, contrasting colors, clearly. That'll be more ergonomic. Ruthless as fuck. Fucker, get fucked. Make your own luck. Basics you plug. Case in that plug. Don't interrupt. I think I'm gonna wear this in my cutthroat country music video. We'll see. I have to check the script, uh, the script breakdown that Special K is working on and see where we have gaps because we already filmed some of it in Arizona before quarantine. But we have some final footage that we were going to film outside in Manhattan that probably we're going to end up doing inside with the gimbal. Almost done! Uh, what? Do we have a different number of stripes? For a second, I got worried. Fearless as a curd, crazier than you heard. Don't let the lights get blurred. I'm a night bird. Spearfish your password. All your thoughts transferred. Flush you like a turd. Smash you like a cheese curd. When I say the word, I'm a tough fucking nerd. Fit for a tiger king. Razzle palm, like Genghis Khan, but with more pizzazz. So close. A lot of paint though. Very absorbent. So as absorbent as a tampon almost. <laughs> yeah, I might be absurd, flashy like a rare bird. They lured and scurred. I won't follow no motherfucking herd. You heard? Fearless as fuck. Fucking get fucked. Make your own luck. Basics to plug. Okay, voila. We have a lovely tiger balaclava. Now all we have to do is let it try. And then I will try it on and do a little show for you, like the Tiger King, <laughs> Joe Exotic. Anyways, uh, stay tuned for just a second. <sighs> Hot dog! This could be right out of Paris Fashion Week, but it's even better because it's like the Tiger King himself. What, what? Hey, Razzlers! I know you want to see me barazzle more dope stuff like this dope professional badass tote bag it was a free victoria's secret tote bag that i got and i can teach you how to make dope stuff like this but looks designer out of simple free store bags don't forget to subscribe and follow to see more content like this and most importantly razzle dazzle never forget weirdest is most original